Question 21. Alex makes ceramic bowls to sell at a monthly craft fair in a nearby city. Every month, she spends $50 on materials for the bowls from a local art store. At the fair, she sells each completed bowl for a total of $25, including tax. Which equation expresses Alex's profit as a function of the number of bowls that she sells in a month? So if I look at all my answer choices, all my answer choices are written in the form y equals mx plus b, where m represents my slope or my rate, and then b represents my y-intercept, or my start value, or my initial amount. Um, and when we look at these application problems, the initial amount is basically like what you're spending to begin with. So if I look back to the question, we sort of need to pull apart those numbers and figure out which of those are slope and which of those are y-intercept. So the number that first stands out to me is my $25, including tax. She's selling each of those bowls for 25 bucks. So that means if I sell one bowl, it's $25. If I sell two bowls, that's $25, $50, I mean. So that means my slope is going to be 25. So when I go back to my equation, I'm going to write down y equals 25x. But now here's the kicker. She's spending $50, so that's going to dig into her profits. So I'm actually losing money to begin with, but the more bowls I sell, the more money I'll make and the more money I'll get back on my return. So in this case, you might think right away to write plus 50 because that's like sort of our go-to thing because that is your y-intercept. She's spending 50 bucks before she even um, starts selling the stuff. So you might think, oh, I have to do plus 50. But if you look at your answer choices, there is no plus 50. But if I look at choice four, it says 25x minus 50, which is correct, because if you think about it, she's spending $50 before she even, um, what is it called, sells the bowls. So the equation that would best represent this is choice four. Now you might be wondering, wait a second, why doesn't that have a y equals? Well, guess what? P of x is a fancy way of saying y equals. They're just using P because that's what profit stands for. So we're basically just saying, instead of y, we're saying p of x. So that's why it's choice four.